Hey guys, it's Max from Charles University and today we've prepared a topic for you that is important for everyone and that's housing around Prague. And of course, um, the classic option to go for and also the most affordable one are dorms. These cost approximately from 2,500 to 4,000 crowns, which is the, probably the cheapest you can find around Prague. Um, however, they're very nice for the beginning due to the cheap price but after some time most people choose a bit more luxurious options um, in the forms of apartments. There's many different ways of how you can actually find flats and today I would want to talk about the three main ones that I've uh, come across and that I've also personally used in order to find my flat. The first one that I would want to talk about are agencies. So there's many agencies, you can find a bunch of them if you s simply scroll through Expat CZ. They're all English speaking and um, also the agents by themselves speak perfect English. These are great in uh, regards to you not actually having to do any work. You simply tell them what you like, what you're looking for, what's your price range and they will go out, look for suitable flats for you and once they find someone, arrange um, a date where you could look at the flat and only if you really decide to go one of the flats that they suggest, um, you pay them an agency fee, which is most of the time approximately one um, rent payment, which goes directly to the agent. The second option you can use are Facebook groups. There's hundreds of these groups all over Facebook, most of them also English speaking. And here there's a lot of offers and also a bunch of different offers. And it takes a lot of time uh, for you to go through all of them, arrange meetings, uh, find something that actually suits you. But the great thing about, uh, about this is that there's not only whole flats that you can uh, rent, but there's also offers of maybe only a room in a shared apartment or other types of uh, living with uh, other people, which can really cut down the cost and help you to live on a low budget. And the last option that is my favorite personally uh, in order to find flats is a website called S Reality, which I also use in order to find my flat. And here you can find whole flats for rent. So no, uh, there's no option for shared uh, rooms or shared apartments. Um, however, there is the biggest choice of flats in my opinion and you can really specify in which location of Prague you wanted, what kind of size you want, what's your price range and um, you, the, the biggest benefit of this whole thing is that you also don't have to pay any agency fee or anything connected to that. So that would be really my favorite to find a proper flat, especially if you're looking together with friends. I would really recommend you to stick to these three ways um, because there's obviously also other ways but um, some friends of mine for example really left it until the last minute and had to find something very quickly and ended up really renting something from Airbnb which was super overpriced and I would totally not recommend for any students um, to go for that route so make sure to stick to these three alternatives that I've mentioned. And the last thing that you should really pay attention to when looking for flats around Prague is that oftentimes the price is not really the full price that you would pay. So what I mean with that is that oftentimes things like gas, water and electricity are excluded from the final price and you would have to count an additional approximately 10% on top of your rent costs. In case you have any questions, be sure to visit the Study in Prague website or you can also always connect with me on Instagram. And I'm actually going to go already, uh, warm myself up. It's getting a bit chilly now in Prague already. And I'm going to go to actually to one of the places we've mentioned before in our video um, regarding places you can visit in Prague uh, during winter. And as always, I hope to see you in Prague next semester.